In this video, I'm gonna show you how to aim out on the golf course. This is great if you are a new golfer, but also a very good reminder if you are an established player. Because knowing where to aim can have such an influence on your game of golf and inevitably your score. Aiming out on the course can be quite tricky, but in this video, I'm gonna make it unbelievably simple. What makes aiming hard out on the golf course is because it's such a vast distance off from the target you're aiming for. So trying to aim at a target that is vastly in the distance, whether it's a flag, whether it's a, a green or a fairway, can often be very challenging. This very simple idea is gonna make aiming so much easier. I'm also gonna show you some variations of what happens if it's windy or if you've got a certain shot shape. The first thing you've got to do when looking to aim the golf club is to stand five or six feet behind the golf ball, perfectly in line. Because from here, you are going to be able to establish a starting line. Now, I'm just going to go down the fairway here on the 18th hole at the Marriott Worsley Park. And there's nothing to aim at. I've got no point of reference. But if I can pick a point out that's small, even to the point of if it is a green, the flag or a side of the green, something small, make your target as small as you can. And I've got a tree in the distance that I'm going to aim at because that is a perfect line for this hole. But aiming at that tree, which is 600 yards away, is impossible. So what I've got to do is bring that target back much closer to me. So use the golf club. The golf club is straight. Stand directly behind the golf ball and use the edge on your golf club, the, the straight edge, to pick out a target that's much closer to you. So I'm gonna bring this right back and draw an imaginary line that is honestly just a few feet in front of me. And there's a little mark here on the floor. Only really, probably I can see it or identify it. There's a little mark on the floor that I know is absolutely in line with where I'm going to. Point of reference, you can't do that. You can't put a little mark with your club on the ground, just to let you know. But it might be a broken tea peg, a blade of grass that you can identify, an old divot, a piece of mud. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as that is pretty much in line with your target. Because that's four or five feet in front of my golf ball. Now, aiming at that is so much easier. Now, when I come up to the golf ball, all I'm focusing on is aiming my golf club to that point that I identified that is in line with my target. All I've done is aim my club at the point that's four or five feet in front of me and I know that is aiming at target. I am confident that is going to where I'm going to. Once I've established that and I've taken hold of the golf club, which I've done a video on my channel before, you can see that, and stood to the golf ball, which again, I've done a video recently on that. I know my face is aiming straight and then the only other thing to do is have your feet running parallel to that line. We don't want our feet aiming at that target. We want our feet running parallel to that line if you're looking to hit a straight shot. Once I've established that and I feel comfortable, I know I'm aiming at a tree that's 600 yards away, but with a very simple reference on the ground, I know I'm aiming dead straight and I can swing and hit with confidence knowing I am aiming at the target. Disclaimer, it doesn't mean you're gonna hit it straight, just to make that very clear, I didn't hit that great, but at least you know you're aiming at the target. Sorry to interrupt the video quickly, but if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, it's free to do, and you get access to loads of fantastic videos to help improve your game. Right, back to the video. There's a couple of other things that you need to do. So aiming also, can include if you hit, let's say, a certain shot shape. Use this model. Let's say you hit a shot shape that moves left to right in the air and it's consistent and you're happy with that, it's fine. Again, stand behind the golf ball this time, but pick a target that's left of where you want the ball to finish. So now I'm aiming at a tree that's left of where I originally want the ball to finish on. I'm picking a point again, four or five feet in front of me. This actually, this old divot here is perfect. Just to the left side of that old divot, I can aim my face there, I can take my stance running parallel to it, and I know if I hit a little left to right golf shot now, which to a lot of golfers might be their natural shot shape, 
That ball then is going to finish onto the target. And that can be true for golfers who hit the ball right to left as well. And there's one more time that you need to change your aim when it's windy. Let's say there's wind off the right. Let's say there's wind off the left. Use this model at not aiming at your target, allowing that wind to move your golf ball is fine. As long as you've picked a target that will represent how much the wind is going to move your golf ball. Other factors as well, if let's say you're going for a green and the pin is on the right hand side and you don't want to miss to the right because that's a bad miss, you could aim, okay, we're going to go left hand side of the green and I'm going to pick a point that's to the left hand side of the green. This technique of aiming out in the golf course, you can be used for every single golf club through your bag, from the driver, even all the way through to a putter. This model works. As a reminder, stand behind the golf ball, use the edge of the golf club to pick a point that's closer to you. Four or five feet in front of you is perfect. An old divot, a blade of grass, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Aim at that, run your feet parallel to that, and you can stand over the golf ball confidently. You are aiming in the place you want to start the golf ball. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. And that's how you aim out on the golf course and you will play better golf for doing so. See you next time.